The, this is Julie from the OIA of National China University. I would like to share a video with you about our international student, their opinion in our campus. The beautiful nature of NCNU and I really enjoy it. 第一次来吉大的时候，我还蛮惊讶的，因为校园很广阔，然后也很美。吉大第一个印象就给我，这是一个大自然的生活。我觉得吉大这个地方是得天独厚，非常又美的校园。And we can see in here have the many big tree inside. So in here, this is a very good environment. 我觉得吉大的风景很漂亮。当我第一次来到这里，我就深深的爱上了吉大。因为吉大是国际学校，然后在这里也可以遇到很多不同来自来自不同国家的人。然后我现在有在修外语的课程，像修韩文跟日文。现在我正在学习中文，如果有说不好的地方，请多指教。刚来台湾的时候还不太会
you, on the internet. You don't need to go to a library, international library or national library in Taiwan. You just can search on the internet. Okay. And then uh, we found it in 1995. So uh, until now, we still, we have a five college and uh, as I will introduce for you later. Well, so we, here are some figures of NCNU. As you can see, it's a Taiwanese map, and uh, we are in the center of Taiwan, so that we also called uh, heart of Taiwan, it's a Nanto County. And we are a small to medium-sized university. We have about 6,000 students in our campus, and our student-to-staff ratio is 17 to 1. And it's a, we are a quite young university. We are only 26 years old and our international student percentage is about 12%. It's quite high and uh, some of them are international students and some of them are the overseas Chinese international student. And uh, our uh, campus size is quite huge. So uh, you can enjoy the very good environment and the jogging in our campus is about 150 hectares here. And until now, we already have a lot of alumni work. It's about 24,000. And uh, during these years, we did a lot of effort in uh, what ranking. As you can see, like our uh, QS Asia ranking, it's a, about in 2022. It's about 351 to 400. And uh, our green metric uh, university is amount uh, 31st in amount of what? And uh, in Taiwan, we are the first in uh, Taiwan comprehensive university. And uh, for the Chinese university ranking, is as you can see, we still did a lot of effort on this. And uh, for this year, we also joined the Wuri World Ranking and got quite a uh, fruitful uh, result here. Uh, we got uh, like 50 uh, amount of what? Okay. And here is our Guru International Partnership uh, with uh, around what? As you can see that uh, we have quite a lot uh, partnership in Thailand here. It's about, uh, okay. yes, so, so we do welcome, uh, no matter you are the, like a degree seeking student or uh, exchange students. And we also always welcome all the Thai students come to NCNU. Okay, so here is our uh, most famous uh, sightseeing place called Summon Lake. And uh, it's also the world top 10 cycling path in 2017. Yes, yeah, so it's really beautiful. All of our students, our international students, our local students, is the one you must go uh, if, when you study in NCNU. And also, we provide the uh, cultural experience uh, for the international student. You can kayak in the summer lake. It's about like uh, 15 to 20 minutes by car. Also, okay, next I'm going to introduce some college of NCNU. And uh, first is the College of Humanity. We have foreign language and literature. And uh, right now we have one Thai student study uh, their bachelor degree here. and. Uh, the Southeast Asia Studies is the most uh, specific department among Taiwan. Uh, we have a lot of uh, expert professors. Uh, they uh, are really the expert in the Southeast Asia Studies here. So right now we have a Thai student uh, to study his uh, PhD here. And also we have social policy and social work and Chinese language and literature. And for Chinese language and literature, we one right now we have one student to study uh, his or her uh, bachelor degree here. And the next one is history department, and we also provide public policy and administration. 
and also if you like to like uh, to learn some Chinese and uh, teach uh, Chinese as a second language, we also provide this master degree here. And uh, the new one, we have uh, this master degree program called Cultural Creative Industry and Social Marketing. Uh, it's for the, all the uh, master degree students. Most of our program in College of Humanity provides uh, no matter from your bachelor degree or master degree or PhD degree. And the second one is College of Management. We have economies, banking and finance, and mm -hmm. international business studies. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. international business studies, we uh, now right now have one high student study his or her uh, bachelor degree here. And uh, the this one, tourism, leisure, and hospitality management, is the specialist one department uh, in NCNU as well. Uh, because uh, most of our comprehensive university we, in Taiwan, we don't provide this kind of program. And right now, we st uh, still have one high student st study his or uh, her bachelor degree here. And the next one is uh, information management. And uh, we also have EMBA program. And uh, the next one is a uh, very specific program called Strategy and Development of Emerging Industries. It provides um, a master and PhD degree here. Also, next one is College of Science and Technology. And uh, most of our uh, program of uh, this college we provide uh, from bachelor degree to PhD degree as well. And uh, the, for the artificial intelligence and robotic uh, program, we only provide for the master degree student. And this one is very cutting edge uh, department. And uh, it's very, if you are interested in this field, uh, we will really welcome you to come and join us. So the first one is College of Education. As you can see, the RAP2 uh, is an international and comparative education department and the education policy and administration. Uh, these two departments is the uh, uh, very unique uh, department among Taiwanese university. Uh, for the international and comparative education, the students, you can learn uh, very different kind of languages as a second language in this department. And uh, they provide a lot of opportunities for students to uh, go, no matter to go abroad to, uh, as an exchange student or go to uh, as an internship. Okay. And uh, education policy and administration, uh, most of the students, uh, they are trained to uh, become the uh, public sector officer or like public sector uh, staff and uh, like uh, school teachers. Okay. So the last one is the College of Sui Shali and we, we just uh, created this uh, these two years and uh, most because it's a just start so we provide only some bachelor degree and master degree. So it's uh, this college, we have a very strong connection with our local community. So you, you, you will have very uh, variety of opportunities to go to the community to uh, cooperate with them. And also some institute and uh, different companies. Okay. So we have a variety of uh, support system to our international students. Okay, so the first one is the most student concerned about is our international scholarship. I will introduce for you later. And the second one is international body program. In this program is provide our international student, no matter degree seeking or exchange student. Uh, we will have give you uh, like a body in uh, it's a from the local Taiwanese student. Uh, they will help the international students to adapt to uh, the environment and culture in Taiwan. And you also can uh, have some exchange 
uh, language exchange or a cultural exchange experience in this program. And also we have International Student Association. It's like to, it's like a club and you can join this association and communicate with others, international students, no matter uh, you, 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 you come from the same country or different countries. And uh, the last one is host family program. Uh, so if you would like to join this program, and uh, you will uh, have one like our Taiwanese faculty or professor, you can join their uh, family and to uh, gathering with them and uh, join their family uh, activities, etc. And the last one is international exchange program. It's like uh, if you are degree seeking students, you also have this kind of opportunity to uh, go abroad to the third country to uh, do the ex exchange program. Yes, if you like to go, you can apply it as well. And also we uh, provide the subsidy uh, for all the students if you know, your uh, grade is well enough. Okay, here is some student service. We provide the uh, airport pickup and accommodation and uh, international student rotation and also uh, help uh, the students to uh, de deliver the ARC and their international student medical insurance and our national health insurance. Also, we ha if you need to like have a part-time work job here, uh, we you also can apply for the, your work permit. And uh, some student scholarship and the cultural activities. And uh, here, here is some our uh, international uh, Chinese class for our international students. As you can see in the video, most of our international students they need to uh, like take a class to learn Chinese. And in the first, when they get into uh, NCNU, they even didn't speak any Chinese, but after they graduate from NCNU, they can speak very fluently uh, Chinese in or Mandarin. Okay, so it's, a, it's for free. And here is some of our sport facility. We have swimming pool and uh, tap, you can play, you can swim here and spa. And uh, we have uh, like gym and uh, you can play basketball or volleyball or uh, badminton in our gym or in the sports center. Here is, uh, as I mentioned about the cultural excursion, you can kayak in our salmon lake. It's for our international students and uh, international body only. And uh, also you can uh, experience a tea picking experience and uh, during some uh, our traditional uh, festival like activities we still we uh, also provide a different kind of uh, activities for stu international students and here is uh, our OIF Facebook club if you uh, would like to join you can scan this and also uh, you can if you join our like uh, international family, you can hold like your uh, own wood festival. Here is a student from Myanmar and India. They hold this wood festival together. And also we provide uh, international student orientation for all the students. Here is uh, our student scholarship. There are two types of our scholarship. One is stipend and uh, the other is tuition reductions. And for the master program, uh, we uh, provide a minimum amount of university level scholarship per person per month is about $20 to $2,000 to $4,000 and uh, maximum for two years. And for PhD program, uh, minimum amount of university level scholarship per person and per month is for uh, 6,000 to 8,000 is maximum for four years. And uh, here is the tuition reduction. Uh, there are two types of waivers. It's partially reduction and uh, full waiver. 
for the bachelor program, we provide this uh, kind of waiver. It's for a, a maximum for four years. And uh, for the master and the PhD program is as well a uh, master program, uh, maximum for two years, and the PhD program, uh, maximum for four years. And here is um, our tuition and others fee. Yes, as you can see, it uh, depends on different college and uh, different uh, degree program for the bachelor, master, and PhD program. The most, uh, it's mo most, most of them are affordable and uh, because you live in Puli, it's uh, quite not, you, you, for your living fees will not spend you too much. Okay, just have a look. And for our like uh, accommodation fee and for undergraduate dormitory, it's a full room for four. It's only take like 6,000 per each person per semester. And uh, for the graduate dormitory, it's a room for two. It's a uh, cost uh, 10,000, uh, about 10,000 per semester. Okay. And uh, about living expense uh, uh, in Thai, in Puli is about 6,000 per month. And also here is some health insurance fee and other fee you need to pay. Okay. And this tuition fee is for now provided 2022. So this tuition fee are change annually, but uh, most of it is like uh, uh, also, it's like this range also. It's not, you will not change too lot. Okay. Also, here is some scholarship information of Taiwan. It's from like our Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of the Science and Technology Taiwan Scholarship. And so some of our international students they also apply this scholarship by themselves. So uh, if you are uh, the uh, scholarship award this kind of scholarship, you also, uh, you will not uh, receive an NCNU scholarship, but this scholarship is much more uh, than our NCNU ones. Okay, so here's a provide for the freshman scholarship is uh, the same one. Uh, it's like uh, you are, if you are apply, you apply our administration like uh, to into our university, you also need to apply uh, this scholarship in the same time, and then you just can uh, take your uh, scholarship. Okay, here is our Zoom year booth in this education affairs. Uh, you always welcome to join us, and uh, we are always there to be with you and uh, give you some advice and information if you would like to come to NCNU for studying. We are at Dong B and Booth 8. And we are always here from every uh, from Tuesday to Friday and every morning two hours and every uh, afternoon for two hours. Okay, so here is some our link. You can scan it and uh, if you have any questions, you can just send a message to us via this platform or via our Facebook page or our website. Okay. Thank you. Here is uh, my inter introdu briefly introduction about NCNU. Thank you very much for your presentation. It's very interesting. Uh, may I ask more about the dormitory for the international student? Oh, yes, okay. of course. Mm -hmm. So, will you, uh, will you like offer for the dormitory inside the university? Yes, our uh, dormitory are in the campus. So, oh. actually, we always uh, reserve uh, the dormitory for all the international students if they would like to live in the dormitory. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, you first, please. Yes, and uh, the for the first year, and if they would like to live, uh, continue to live in the dormitory. It's always open for all the international students. 
Yes, but some international students, they just live for one year, the first year, and uh, later they would like to move to the Dulli downtown. It's okay. Ah, yes. uh, okay. And in the dormitory, do the domestic, I, I mean Taiwanese and international, and the student living together? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, it, it's like it's like uh, maybe you can the student maybe can live with the Taiwanese students, oh. or maybe live with the others international student. It depends. It's uh, they they don't have any like specific area for all the international students. This is like mixed together. Oh, yes. I see. It's very good. So they can like just learn Chinese. Oh, yes, yes. They can like learn different language. Maybe if you are an international student, you you can like uh, to live with Taiwanese students or live uh, with other countries, international students. Yeah, and I see that you also offered free Chinese course for yes. the student also. Yes. So all for free? Yes, it's for free it's, uh, because uh, it's we only also still have uh, it's in um, in every wednesday afternoon it's for free and uh, and there's different level for students so you can choose your level wow so they can just like start from the beginner to intermediate level yes yes wow <laughs> okay <laughs> that's very good and i also see that you also have thai students there at the moment maybe five Five Student? yes, it's um yeah only five. It's not so many. So <laughs> next time you can just invite them to share with us. Yes, I I hope uh the next time I will invite them to share with you some information or their feeling, what they look uh, about uh this this university. Yes. Yeah, or maybe you can add Thai language on your clip. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use it like every year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, do you have anything to tell to tell Thai student who want to maybe apply this year? Uh, I would like to tell any Thai student like uh, we are always welcome you to come to Taiwan, and uh, no matter you are right now a senior high school student or you already graduate from uh, university. And you can study like a bachelor, um, master, or a PhD degree here. Yes. Mm, that's very good. And also the last one, how about cost of living at FSD? You, you mean, oh, cost you mean cost of living? living? Yes, here, uh, it's about uh, 6,000 New Taiwan dollars per month. It's because it's uh, not uh, the cent, it's not capital. And here's like a, this will be a countryside in NCNU, so you will not spend too much because there is not so many entertainment here, and uh, it's all of nature. So if you you don't want to like go to a big city, it's a very good choice to choose NCNU. <laughs>